Top 5 Scary Ghost Videos Caught on Camera In the Office TikTok user Brandy Nicole works in an office for a 911 dispatch center. However, she usually finds herself working alone with nobody else around on shift. And for a long time, things were working out just fine. That is, until one day, when in the office, strange and creepy things began to happen. So, I'm just sitting at work, and I hear things fall in the lobby. Um, not sure. And the lights are off. They were on. Oh, and they're on now. Mm. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna gonna be done with that. Oh, mm -mm. nope, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> oh, what was that? Many viewers were quick to try debunk Brandy, saying that the light switch is right next to her, and she flicked it on herself. To which she responded with another video. So, since y'all thought I was doing the lights, let me show you these. This one does nothing. This one turns on this extra light, so. Unfortunately, this wasn't just one odd occurrence as strange things continued to happen on each of her shifts. So, I'm at work again. Poulter's acting up as we're now referring to her. Maybe it's somebody. I don't, I don't know. Nobody should be here. There's literally no one here. Eventually, she would find herself working with a colleague instead of being alone, but that didn't stop the activity from happening. Hey guys, this is just an update to let you all know that I'm okay. I'm back at work today, but I'm no longer working by myself. I have someone here with me. Everything's been fine so far. Um, we haven't had anything today, so... <laughs> and here we go. What was that? What? It came from the hallway. What? Oh my god. Uh, mm -mm, no. Oh my god. Uh, uh. After this, people started to think that there may be a person hiding in the attic of the building. And after a few more days, she would have the most terrifying shift of all. So, y'all have been following my polter diaries here lately um so i'm pretty sure there's something standing in the doorway to the break room am i crazy or is that somebody standing there um i don't do y'all see that a person or shadow figure can be seen just standing in the doorway to one of the rooms before quickly disappearing behind it after this, Brandy had no choice but to call it an early shift for the night. She then posted an update saying that she is okay and the activity has continued, but she hasn't been able to capture much, as it all happens too fast and too suddenly. So, was this a real person or shadow figure residing in the attic of the building? Or is it all just a simple ruse? You judge. Before we continue, today's video is sponsored by Purple Garden. If you ever feel like you are truly in the depths of despair and it seems like there is no hope, that's where Purple Garden comes in. Purple Garden connects you with talented psychic, tarot and astrology advisors. These advisors are ready to enlighten, inspire and empower you, all of which are vetted and voted for by people just like you. All you have to do is create an account and you'll be able to choose from hundreds of advisors who are online right now. What is the next step in your career path? What is next for your love life? 
Purple Garden has an advisor ready to provide the clarity you need. Purple Garden even offers palm readings, angel insights, oracle guidance, and dream analysis. You can choose whichever advisor best suits your needs, and you'll be able to connect with them via text, phone call, or video call. One thing I really like about Purple Garden is each advisor has recorded a brief video message where they introduce themselves and share their expertise, experience and history. It makes choosing the right advisor much easier. Use my link trypurplegarden.com slash despair in the description or scan the QR code on screen to get started in receiving the clarity you need for a fulfilling life. As a Purple Garden customer, you'll get your first deposit of $10 matched. So try it out now. It followed me home. The next video comes from the TikTok page They Are With Me, who we just featured recently. The man who owns the page just went to visit his father's grave and attempted to contact his spirit, but in doing so, it seems he called something to manifest and it followed him home. He has been dealing with this haunting ever since. Can I say? Now continuing from here, many of his viewers recommended him to light a candle so that the spirits in his apartment can rest and move on. But it doesn't look like that will be happening anytime soon. Bueno, me encuentro haciendo este video porque revisando la caja de comentarios me han recomendado mucho prender velas para que los espíritus que estén aquí en el apartamento puedan descansar, puedan ir hacia la luz, me permitan descansar. Aquí tengo una vela que me la dio una persona con mucha fe para ayudarme con todo esto y la persona dice que esta vela está bendecida. Entonces voy a prenderla con, con la misma fe para que la presencia que está aquí en el apartamento atormentándome pueda ir hacia la luz. Bueno, ya quedó la velita emprendida. Parece escuchar algo ya. Algo se movió por allá. Once again, his viewers pointed out that by lighting the candle on a table with a reflective mirror-like surface is enough to create a portal. He did say that he didn't have much experience with this, and every time he tries a suggestion, things end up getting much worse. The next night he wakes up to some creepy noises around 10pm, only to capture something downright chilling. Son las 10 de la noche, con 20 minutos y ya estaba durmiendo porque esos días tengo que madrugar y acabo de escuchar que alguien me susurró fuerte al oído, una voz horrible, entonces eso me despertó, aparte de eso también estoy sintiendo pasos, estoy sintiendo ruido. Y bueno, yo espero que esta noche sea muy tranquila. ¿Qué fue eso? Dios mío, ¿qué fue eso? Me ha levantado una cobija. Oh, Dios mío.
para una cobija. No sé si... No sé si salir porque estoy asustado. Todavía se escuchan voces de, de la gente porque está muy temprano. Estoy temblando, estoy nervioso, súper nervioso. His blanket is violently snatched and sent flying onto the floor. Although frightened, he musters the courage to search the house, turning the lights on each room as he does so. But in the end, he finds nobody there. For the next two nights, nothing happens. That is until the third night when the power goes out and things get truly horrifying. Llevaba dos noches que no sucedía nada, pero, pero otra vez estoy viendo. está sin energía, mi apartamento está sin energía. Pues al momento no se ve nada extraño, pero les juro que yo escuché unos golpes. Miren que se ve energía. ¿Qué es lo que parece que todo está tranquilo? shadow figure can be seen just standing there amidst the darkness, which sends him running straight into his bedroom, and then we hear a creepy female scream along with some footsteps. <laughs> When he comes out of the room, there is no sign of anybody around. This would definitely be enough to leave anybody in the depths of despair, 
and is getting stronger every day and he doesn't know what he should do about it. If you have any video recommendations you can send them over to depthsofdespairbusiness at gmail.com Ouija board The next video comes from the TikTok user Harry McClary. One day Harry decided to mess around with a Ouija board thinking nothing bad would come of it. But a few nights later he woke up to this. What the fuck? A deliberate attempt to contact the spirit of a deceased person is known as a seance. Hey. But I have a skill you might like. What the fuck? Wanna try it? night Harry and his partner woke up to the sounds of their dog Henry barking in a rather strange manner right at the basement door. When Harry goes to check it doesn't end well. Hello? Oh my god! Something comes charging out of the basement, scaring him away. On another night, he hears a door repeatedly opening and closing, coming from within the basement. This time, he decides to go down there and see for himself what's going on. The door stops and just as he gets within reach it completely opens all the way, revealing a pitch black room with no light, as if something was trying to lure him inside. Luckily he quickly ran away. Four days later while reading a book, Harry would capture something terrifying on camera. The light shatters and just mere seconds afterwards, a dark shadow figure can be seen lurking within one of the dark rooms. Eventually they saged the house and it seemed like that was the end of it, but one night it returned.
so just what exactly did they welcome into their house after playing with the Ouija board? Is it a real ghost? Or just a simple ruse? Once again, I'll let you judge. Attached to my son. The next video comes from the YouTube channel King Crimson. King Crimson and his family started hearing strange banging noises and whispering voices around the house one day, but they were unsure what was causing it and why. However, they recently discovered that their son found their old Ouija board that had been missing in the house for years. Not knowing what he was doing, the boy retrieved the Ouija board from the cluttered storage and started messing with it. It was around this time that the activity started occurring in the house. After reviewing the security cameras set up in the house, this is what they captured. The TV turns on by itself and then the Ouija board drops on the floor, on its own, and as he starts playing with it, what sounds like a creepy whisper can be heard saying not your toy. He then makes a follow up video to show that there is no space for someone to hide behind the TV. But that's just the beginning of things because over the course of the next few days, the boy can be seen playing with his toys when something disturbing is captured on camera.
The next day the boy would bring the Ouija board to his room and play with it right by the mirror and what the camera captures would leave any parent worried. Something creepy happens in the mirror, and once again towards the end of the video we can see the planchette move by itself, and then a mist-like figure manifests momentarily before vanishing. Real or not, I don't think it's very responsible to allow a child to be playing around with a Ouija board, but let me know what you think. The Haunted Doll the next video comes from the TikTok user Samantha Marie, who runs a store in Albuquerque, New Mexico. One day, Samantha received a doll from a client which they claimed was haunted. Samantha, on the other hand, is a collector of haunted items, as she usually doesn't believe that they are. Well, after packing the doll named Alice away in its case and leaving it inside the store, a few days later when she arrived at the store and decided to make a before and after video showcasing how the store has changed, she was left shocked. Okay, so I haven't done a walkthrough video like a before and after since I moved in. So since I just got here, After entering the store, some creepy laughter can be heard, and the doll seems to be sitting on the couch and out of its casing. This left Samantha understandably creeped out, causing her to leave the store as quickly as she came in. She then made a follow-up video explaining a bit about the doll. I'm still really bugged out by walking in my store and hearing i don't know if it was laughter i was very confused but backstory is i received alice from a family their mom has had her for a really long time and they reached out to me and asked me if i would take her because they were all terrified of her and you know i was like okay well tell me about the doll so they told me that the doll just creeped them out and sometimes they would hear noises or they would hear what they thought was laughter they never really knew what it was but they all felt like it was coming from Alice. The mom is going to a home, so they're really getting rid of a lot of things that the mom doesn't eat anymore. So they reached out to me and they asked me, hey, do you want to take Alice on? I said, send her. 
because a lot of people know that I take haunted items or claimed haunted items because I'm very logical about this type of stuff. So this morning when I got there, I had every intention on starting a video doing a before and after because I'm blocked, I can't go live. So I really wanted to do like a before and after, like walking in the store and then putting clips of like how it looked when I moved in versus how it looked now. I was not anticipating that. Samantha also said that ever since taking in the doll, she noticed her plants started dying mysteriously, but she doesn't know much about the doll's history, so she's not able to say for sure what is going on. Real haunted doll or not, the final judgement is yours to make. That's all for today guys, but if you like this video, subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you never miss an upload. And with that being said, you can follow the original Depths of Despair on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. See you next time, guys.